What's up, guys? How are you doing? <sighs> what a week! Can you? Can everyone hear me? I hope so. It's loud. Uh, it's more silent. So we have a pretty ambitious plan for today. Uh, I took notes because there is a lot of shopping to do. Uh, yeah, we have to learn Lefeinish, we have to go to Crescent Lake, we have to go to Gaia. We have to get the slab from Lefein. We have to go to Melmon and we have to go to Waterfall Cavern. So, yeah, pretty busy. I'm wondering if we can just go to Waterfall Cavern immediately because it's close. Uh, hold on, let me just hit the um, time. Okay, it's on. So, um, apparently one of the robots in the floating castle, uh, sorry, in the Mirage Tower got lost and ended up in this... Um... Oh, actually, I don't yet have the exit spell, so... Alright, let's go there later. I mean, we can always find them. So, step one is going to be Melmont. So we have this item we got last time, was it? I already forgot. Let me just check. Oh, it's too bright. That's better. Uh, let me check. So last time we got... Uh, um, not rod. Let's... Yeah, we got the slab. So we have to carry the slab to Melmont to learn the Fainish. And there we will get another item. Just fly into Melmont first. Hopefully we won't get too lost. Should be this continent. Uh, yeah, this is where we came from, Corneria, so we fly west. Melmont should be somewhere here. This is Melmont. There's a dude here we have to talk to. Or something. Are you the doctor or something? Ah, screw the time. Okay, not you. Maybe you. Not you. Move it, please. No. Alright. Let me. I don't mean to park you, sir. I'm a farmer. I totally would not use the fact of being light warriors to hit on that chick. That totally wouldn't be me. A slab! This slab will lead us to solve the riddle of the Lefanish. Now listen to me. So now we are supposed to be able to speak Lefanish. So one thing is done. Let me check what should I buy here. Go to Melmont. So here we want to buy a black magic spell called Bane. It will help us defeat the boss later, maybe. Cutie, he's the black mage and he wants to learn Bane. Thank you. So I guess we are done with Melmont. Should we restock our other supplies here? Because we'll have to do it at some point. I guess the prices here should be fine. You know, like all the potions and shit. Um, eh, whatever, let's just fly in somewhere else. So next step should be Crescent Lake, I guess. Let's stop by Corneria, it's cheap there. Oh, home sweet home. Alright, let's go to our favorite shop. 
I just spent like so many minutes buying stuff. How many potions do we need? A lot, like 50, 50. We need 50 and then... That's a lot. It will take us a long time. So in, in the meantime, as I'm buying them, maybe I'll tell you about my diet. So, um, I suffer from this condition right now, it's an inflammation. I totally forgot the English name, so I can't tell you exactly, it's nothing serious. Easy to treat, I just take a pill, um, like for two up to six weeks, depending how I feel. So it's fine. But the problem is that after return from China, I had, uh, like, I had those stomach problems. I even had them before lockdown because Chinese food, you know, it's very oily and usually pretty unhealthy. I don't mean the homemade food, I mean the food you can get outside. That's... I'm, I, like, the regular Chinese food at home is it's just like any homemade food, but the food outside is super unhealthy. So, uh, and I've been very busy there, so I've been usually just eating out, so... So I came back. And after that there was this lockdown, there was no food, we were starving, stuff like this. So, I came back with huge stomach issues, you know, so... The problem is, I had... Uh, it's actually weird, I took weight because I had no appetite. How funny does that sound? But it's actually true. So, because I had no appetite, I didn't feel like eating anything. I really had to like force myself to eat something, so it had to be something that like it's easiest to force yourself to eat, so like chocolate or fried chicken, stuff like this. So let's see, where are we are? 79, not bad. So I had to, uh, so I took a lot of weight, uh, like 14 kilograms or something, it's a lot. Uh, so after I treated my stomach and I feel better and I start to have appetite, my doctor also advised me to lose weight. Uh, so I figured it's a perfect opportunity to, uh, you know, like maybe resolve that problem. So here I am on the diet. Uh, but the thing is, I'm not really compatible with diets. I've been on diets, like professional diets made by nutritionist just for me and it's fine diet of course it works but it doesn't scale for those of you who are also in IT business you probably understand the idea of scalability so doesn't matter if something works or not if it doesn't scale so sure diet works but can you apply it until the rest of your life can you live with a diet I don't think so. So um, after like two or three diets, which worked every time, every time I applied them they worked. But the thing is, I can't just live on the diet. Oh, I can't carry anymore, maximum. Yeah, 99 potions. Pure is fine, soft is fine, everything else seems fine. So let's get out of here. Next step. It's going to be Crescent Lake, I guess, or Gaia. Let's go to Gaia later, let's go to Crescent Lake right now. So, uh, yeah, I really want to do something, but I felt really demotivated because I already know what to expect from the diet. It's not like it's, it's going to be my first time. I did it many times and I know exactly what to expect. So, hold on, what should we buy here? Lock to exit and bolt. Should have bolt. Should have gotten bolt earlier. But oh, this is the hospital. Um, armor shop. Where is the magic store? So for white magic. Here we're going to buy exit. Uh, not all time, Sorry, doctor. This one. And also fog two. Alright, and for the black mage we're going to buy Bolt. It's a bit late for that, but 
better now than, ne than ever. Hey, there's no vault. Huh. I guess it was not in presently, I must have made a mistake. Whatever, no vault, it's not important. We don't need it now, so. I guess we are done with Crescent Lake for now. We just had some little shopping to do here. So before we go to Gaia, let's go to Lefein and speak some Lefeinish. So anyway, uh, I had like close to zero motivation to go on a diet again because I already know what to expect. I'm not so naive anymore. I mean, I've been there, done that, so whatever. So I wanted something different. Something new, something that gives you more. This is the left thing. Unfortunately, there's no place to land as usual. So we'll have to go all the way here. Here, there's a little landing spot we can use. And let's just hike down. Hopefully, we won't die. Oh, these things are freaking dangerous. So we are going to run from them and hope to survive. So, yeah. I was hoping to get some other solution than the diet and uh, I think I already told you when I met Mimble Wimble guys, David and Nagini, we went out uh, two weeks ago I guess and we've been in a bar there was a girl and she had like a thing on her, on her, sh on her shirt that said uh, if you need help losing weight just ask me. Ask me how to lose weight in Polish. So I decided, mm, what the hell, why not ask, you know? So I just asked, like, how to lose weight? And she said, oh, you're really interested in losing weight, okay. She gave me, like, her contact information and a little form to fill, and she gave me a free consultation. So we talked, um, she offered her help. And she works for this company, I don't want to say the name, because I don't want to do product placement on this channel. Who's there? But basically, it works like they give you uh, supplements like um, food replacement products, like cocktails and stuff, protein shakes, kind of. So, to lose weight, you replace two meals with this. And to maintain your weight, you replace just one. I'm not a nutritionist. Speak some Lefeinish. You are Lefeinish. Only our bravers became sky warriors. Your airship was theirs. Oh yeah, good old days. Oh, the light warriors. The legend is true. Let's hang out around here for a while. At the time of destruction, a legend was born. In 400 years, warriors with orbs will appear to save our people. Are you? Oh well. The floating castle. Our ancestors lived there. The Mirage Tower is the entrance. Yep. Our last five warriors left to find the cause of the world's decay. We know they live, but as bats. Oh no. We fought with Tiamat, but were unsuccessful. The fiend now inhabits our floating castle. Right. The power of wind was taken by Tiamat. With this chime, you can enter the Mirage Tower. Alright, we have the access to the Mirage Tower, that's all we need from here, so we can just get out. We knew that the great power controlled by the fiends, our five bravest warriors left, never to return. Floating us lived there, the Mirage Tower is the entrance. Excuse me, Sean. To go through. Where is this Tiamat? I'm looking for the Tiamat. Right, since we are here and so hard to get here, let's just talk more. Until 400 years ago, we controlled the power of the wind. This enabled us to su suspend the castle in the air. Why well, was thinking the castle is in the orbit? 
400 years ago we had advanced civilization, our interest was the universe. Hmm. Interstellar civilization, perhaps. The floating castle floats high in the sky, seemingly among the stars. Yeah, it is in the orbit, that's cool. We have passed on the legends from generation to generation, but 400 years have caused our memories to fade. I wonder if the robots made by our ancestors are still moving. Yes, they are. 400 years ago we had an advance. Okay, we are in front of that. Let's get out of here. So those robots, they are in the Mirage Tower. And uh, they were under attack. I will spoil a bit. One of them has escaped to the west and hidden in the waterfall. Uh, waterfall place. And this this one who escaped has a cube which is what allows us to enter the floating castle. Normally we would have to waste a lot of time to go to Mirage Tower and then back to learn about where the cube is, find the robot, get the cube. But this time like we just know it so we can save this time and just go there and get the cube. So now we will be heading west to Gaia, do some more shopping and uh, then to the waterfall let's see if we have this new magic yeah then it's there Good. we don't need it now but we will need it with Tiamat assuming it will work it's not completely effective sorry <laughs> Happens to me more and more often actually. I wonder if it's a problem with my brain. Can't run, I guess. Okay, I guess we will just have to fight them, so. Whatever. Yeah, so getting back to this diet, I'm not a nutritionist, I don't know if a meal replacement drink can really replace a meal, perhaps not, I don't know if it's healthy or not, probably not, but I can tell you one thing, oh, I used the wrong stuff, I can tell you one thing, it can't be more unhealthy than the way I used to live right before this diet skipping meals, eating unhealthily and stuff like this can't be worse than that that's one thing second thing okay maybe it might not be perfect but one thing is sure it does scale you actually save time you spend instead of spending more time so why not I think it was mage stuff the one that cast fire So, today's the first day, I'm trying, I had my first meal replacement in the morning, let's see how much weight can I lose, and let's see if, if I can maintain it, I mean it gives me hopes because it's new, something I haven't tried before, so why not? Yeah, so I'm just looking at the mic.
Right. Let's keep heading north. Wait, did we buy warp? Sorry, uh, exit. Let's just check. Uh, yes. We are seriously under level 40 a month. I think if there will be some time left, we are going to grind a little bit. Maybe even now. Let's kill those Ankylos. They have huge defense. I'm not sure how much experience points they give, but there are three of them, so... Might be... What, what the... Almost slain, damn it. The recommended level to fight Tiamat is 35 and we are 21. I'm not sure if I want to spend like two streams just grinding, so... But I will tell you that I did try to kill Tiamat yesterday and a few times I succeeded. So I will optimize the equipment a little bit. Of course, like, I'm having another game in parallel, so I'm trying to be a, a little bit in front of whatever I do in the stream. So, uh, yeah, I guess maybe if I just optimize a little bit, I might be able to defeat Tiamat without uh, spending two streams grinding. Also, from the experience I gained yesterday, I can tell you that I think it's going to be time for Lens to shine, actually. It's surprisingly useful during the Tiamat fight, so... Let's see about that. See if it can be used outside of the fight. Let's try. That would be pretty amazing. It gave us quite a lot of experience points. Where are we anyway? I don't think we can use the item outside of the fight. So, anyway, let's just fill up a bit. I'm using up magic because we will restore magic before proceeding anyway. So. And I just don't want to waste time buying more potions. Alright, next stop is Gaia. This is the Mirage Tower, this is where we are going later. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking. On your left, you can see the Mirage Tower. I guess it's the one. Where is Gaia? Here. What do we have to buy here? Um, my shopping list says we need to buy Fade and Brack. Black magic spells. Mm. 
I think we should also get ice free. Since we are here, let's get it. Alright. But Fade is not here. Do we already have Fade? Let's see. I'm confused. We don't have Fade. Was it in the Crescent Lake? It was not in the Crescent Lake. Arm 4, Cure 4. Ah, we don't need that. Let me just check where can I get Fade. Gaia, sold in Gaia, I was right, but it's not there. Oh, maybe there's another magic shop here. Is it? I think there should. Is there like a hidden magic shop here? Or... No, this is potions. Let's just walk around and see. This is the hospital. Damn it. Yeah, there are those two shops. Are these the ones we have just visited? Guess so, let's see. That's how easy it is to actually miss something in this game. Yeah, I guess I haven't been here, so let's see. Stop, stop, XXX. Ah. What? <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe it's the white magic. Yes, it was the white magic spell. Alright, I'm getting it. And I think I will also get the wall because wall can can protect us from poison. And we do have we have one ribbon. We will get two more. And we also get Aegis shield. So maybe there's no need to buy a wall. How much does it cost anyway? But anyway, wall only works on one um, character doesn't work on everyone simultaneously so if we fight Tiamat we will not have time to cast wall for everyone anyway so I guess we're done in Gaia let's just leave this place um, fade and Brack let's just see there is Brack there is Fade. Fade is level 8. Damn it. We won't be able to use it. That's the reason why I didn't buy new, actually. Oh, okay. We wasted some money. It's okay. So now we go to... Waterfall Cavern. Ladies and gentlemen, on your right, you could see 
Ardia Islands. This is the place where one of the robots from the Mirage Tower has escaped to find him. There it is. Not sure I remember the way. Or maybe let me just pull up a map. <laughs> oh, actually. Open the map of this place in this. We do not want to get lost, right? Nightmare. Sorry, Nightmare, I don't have time. Is this the exit? Yeah, this is the exit. So, yeah, I went correctly, damn it. Let's just fight them to grind a little bit. We have to defeat Tiamat somehow.
Alrighty. During the last stream, the Earthbound live stream, I forgot to hit the recording button. Uh, of course, I did stream, but I did not record locally, which is no longer that important since now I have good internet. But um, like, I will try not to forget in the future. Today I did hit it, so it should be fine. I think there is a huge problem with the equipment, especially for Nance. So ineffective. I don't know what should I give him to make him effective. But later, in the floating castle we will find Katana and he will become effective. So. Till then, he's not that useful for us. actually pretty effective. Not too bad. Actually, this stream is going pretty fast, so I think I will not use the exit spell to exit this dungeon, but I will just walk back, just to grind, maybe get those few levels. I don't exactly know when, but it would be good if uh, we could use level 8 spells, so maybe we could get nuke. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mind one more quick trip to the Crescent Lake, there is a place to land, so it's fine. Very effective on the mummies because they have vulnerability against fire. I mean, it's basically a dead, dry corpse, so should flame pretty nicely. I 
I don't think we'll get to level 22 soon. Oh, actually, no. We might. We might get level 22. What about QTL? Yeah, there is a chance. Let's grind today a little bit. We still have time. 20 minutes or something. So. Maybe this one level will allow us to use level 8 spell at least once. No, that's not very effective. It would be cool if those fights occurred a little bit faster. <laughs> If we won't get level 22, I guess I will just buy a nuke and hopefully we will reach level 22 on the way to Tiamat. Hey, can we talk to these bats? <laughs> Maybe they are the Lefanish who became bats. Lucky.
Now we got it. Just heal up. I know it was meant for later, but I just don't want to die, right? Force encounter. And now let's rotate a bit. No! Well, I guess it's fine. cube with it you can transfer to the floating castle so this is the robot who escaped These are the stuff. okay there is something here uh, ribbon we really need ribbon we would like to have three ribbons which is as many as you can actually get for free in this game so, no, hold on, why is it not It's actually not important for now. So, what we can throw away, we can drop this thing. Yep, very important item. Wow, that was strong. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that was close. Let's see how much experience points can we get for that. Not bad. Let's see how far are we. Oh, let me just not forget to kill him. Alright, uh, we are done here, so let's get out. I know I promised to just walk back, but it's almost one hour, so we're going to use magic to leave this place. Let's heal up. Where should we heal up? Maybe Crescent Lake? By Nuke? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go to Crescent Lake. And then, let's get ready for the Mirage Tower. to cure. We just not forget this time. This is what the fight with Tiamat will feel like. It's plenty of pointless, useless attacks and hoping one of them will be actually effective. So imagine, we were approaching our floating ship and suddenly an Ikylo jumped out. Going to Crescent Lake to buy a nuke. Yeah. 
There's no nuke? Damn it! Oh, but there's lighting free. I guess I wanted that. I don't remember where to buy a nuke. It was somewhere. Let me just check. This game is so confusing. Lefane! It was in Lefane! And I didn't buy it! And there's no place to land there! Oh god! So stupid! So stupid! Whatever, we can manage without me. I'm curious if it will charge me 60 if I can't buy any more. Oh, it didn't. Cool. Nice. That's honest. There it is. Cross this desert. Do you guys know this song by Judas Priest called Desert Plains? Alright, let's use house here. And we are done for today! So, uh... We actually did not achieve that much. We learned Lefanish, got this. Uh, yeah, we gave up slap to learn Lefanish. Then we got Chime that allows us to enter the Mirage Tower. And then we traveled to this uh, waterfall cavern to get uh, to meet one of the robots that escaped and get the um, cube that allows to go from. Uh, the Mirage Tower to the Floating Castle. And it's one hour now, so uh, I guess I'm done. See you guys next time. Next time we will kill Tiamat, so wish me luck. Bye.